you know, going back in time, you know, in, in order for a rider to be on our platform, they have to provide us an email address that is verified. They have to provide us a phone number that's verified. They have to provide us a credit card, which is also verified. So there is some level of, uh, you know, identity that we know. But as you mentioned, we have heard from drivers. One of the problems that we have heard from drivers is, hey, people have names and sometimes yeah. those names are inappropriate and they, uh, you know, drivers feel unsafe when they encounter those names. So, you know, we've been thinking about, hey, how do we want to handle that? So there are two things we are doing. One, we are actually going to purge inappropriate names from our database and riders will be required to update those names before they will be able to take a ride. So that's going to happen. Uh, and then the second thing is, you know, on an ongoing basis, we want to make sure that there is more crowdsourcing of that feedback. So we're going to provide a help note to drivers there with their, where they will be able to flag to us that, look, this rider has an inappropriate name. And whenever that happens, we will be on a continuous basis, on a go forward basis, we'll be able to fix that as well. So we are very excited about that launch as well. We think that we should be able to provide uh, you know, um, uh, an appropriate name for the driver when they're going to pick someone up uh, and we launch that tomorrow as well. Yeah, I mean, you know, Sachin, I, I have no problem picking somebody up at three in the morning at a bar with the name Killer. It has happened to me, okay? Trust me. And uh, and I go like, okay, if this is your government-given name or family-given name, I have no problem as long as it's verified, right? Hey, some people name their kids different names. But to me, it was like, you know, the, the names that I see is is outrageous. I mean, sometimes I laugh because it's a cartoon character. Sometimes it's I feel unsafe. I really do. Because I don't want to pick up a person called Gangster, and I know it's not their name, and they may be just be playful. I mean, I'm not blaming the passenger, but a little bit of a scrutiny. We don't want everybody, every passenger, to go through a background check. Obviously, that's impossible. But the thing, the unfairness that I hear from all drivers is that the passenger knows everything about me. But I don't know nothing about this passenger, especially if they have a, you know, made up name. So I think this is another great feature. I really do. I think the drivers are going to enjoy this. And in addition to that, a few months ago, uh, you may have seen, we also made another announcement that if the payment instrument that you're using yeah. is an anonymous payment instrument or a gift card or Venmo or one of those accounts, uh, then we actually ask you to provide us your driver's license or your passport or some sort of a state or national ID before you'll be able to take a trip because we want to make sure that we have, if we don't have a credit or a debit card-like validation from you, we want to make sure that we get extra validation. So again, that message has been received very positively by drivers as well, where we are actually asking them to provide us an ID document in certain cases. Yeah, there, Akosho Shai was interviewed by Harry a couple of months ago, and he did mention exactly that, that, you know, um, I think that's another great feature, yeah.